Hello, Piper Vibe from PiperVibe.com here. There's a new way to secure the felt, the underlying felt to the gel pad. So I wanted to share that with you. It's a pretty cool way of doing it. So to begin with, uh, basically what you're gonna do is you're going to take your damper rail off. You're gonna drill six holes fairly evenly spaced. All right. Down the center of the underside of the damper rail. This is, this is one way. You don't have to do it this way, by the way. You can do it any way you want, but this way works. You don't actually have to secure it at all, but it helps. So, so you, after you've drilled your holes and you've cleaned off the shards, um, quarter inch holes, clean the shards, and then what you'll do is you'll install the gel pad. Now, I'm not gonna do the whole thing because uh, this is just for demonstration. So here I install the gel pad. On, with the sticky side down, it's pretty easy. If you screw it up, you just pull it back up and do it again. It's pretty easy. So once that's down, we we'll do the gel pad, the whole gel pad is down. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay my felt, my underlying felt. And let's start with a nice clean piece of felt here. There we go. Let's cut this part off. There. And so we've got our felt here. Then we're going to lay our damper pad, or damper rail rather, and gel pad over the felt, just like such. So it's somewhat centered, doesn't have to be perfect. Then we're going to wrap it like so, and then we'll wrap the other side this, and overlap the top of this one. And then we'll get a sharp object, a nail would work, and you feel where that hole is that you drilled. And our hole is right there. So I'm just going to poke a little hole through the, through the uh, felt that makes it easier. And then these cool little rivets. There's these little plastic rivets that the auto industry uses. That's where I learned about them. Um, and then we're going to stick that in there just like that. And I'm going to pop it in just like that. That whole thing holds it so secure, you have to, you'll have to cut your, this felt off to get it out again. Um, it's, not too, it's not as bad as having to clean off all that glue that you had to clean off to get the uh, felt damper pads off the traditional. All right, so then you go to the next hole, do the same thing. Pop a little hole in that. Put your little, whoop, put your little, oh, geez, drop them both. I've been practicing a lot. My fingers are practically numb. All right, so stick the, these guys right down in there and popped it down again. And then what, what that does is it keeps that nice and pretty. Uh, and then you can trim around these areas here and, uh, and you're, you're in business. And then you lay your other felt over the top of this. Now you, you always get two layers of felt whenever you buy the gel pad. And so the, you use one down here, and then the other one, the top one, you can take that off and replace it. This, this stuff is not expensive. The gel is, the gel pad part is, but the felt itself is not expensive, and I sell that also. Shouldn't have to, I, I haven't replaced mine in a couple of years, so should be fine. All right, and when you do, it's like $10 for this stuff, for, the, for that. Pretty cool, isn't it? I like it. I like it a lot. It's easy, it's fast, it's neat, and there's no mess.